Hi, I'm Marsha Page, makeup artist and beauty expert. Today we'll be talking about the best pre-makeup skincare routine. So we're gonna be talking cleansers, exfoliators, toners, and moisturizers. <sighs> <laughs> It's super important to have a pre-makeup skincare routine because let's face it, makeup is only as good as the skin that it's laying on. When thinking of cleansers, first it's very important that you choose a cleanser that's designed for your specific skin type. Whether you have oily, combination, or dry skin, that would be the best bet to try to gauge which cleanser would work best for you. If you use a product that's not specifically designed for facial cleansing, you could risk the potential of having breakouts or drying out your skin. I love Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel, mainly because it's lightweight and clear, so you can tell right away that it has a very light consistency that will feel good on the skin. It includes mint and lavender extract, which calm and soothe the skin. And it's a foaming cleanser. I forgot to mention that. You see, it foams up, which makes it fun, right? <laughs> so after cleansing, exfoliation is particularly key because what it does is it removes that top layer of skin that causes your skin to look dull at times. So once you lift that layer, it allows your skin to accept the moisturizer and the makeup product that you're applying to it because you've removed that extra, a little of that extra barrier that lays on top of the skin. So, I like Mario Badesco Seaweed Cleansing Soap because I love products that have a dual function and this does, so you can skip a step. It's a cleanser and an exfoliator. It has marine extract in it and it's made with seaweed and it calms and soothes the skin. There's a little aloe in here, and it has kind of a thick consistency to it, but as you, if you look at it, you can see the exfoliation granules in there. So you can feel as it goes onto your skin, it foams up a little bit, but the granules in this product are very small, so it's not that much of a scrub feeling to it, but it's still getting the job done, and trust, that layer is coming up. And it's smooth and silky. I will say that it has kind of a sea smell to it. <laughs> Imagine going fishing, but <laughs> it's masked with a little bit of a, you know, delightful smells with the aloe and the other minerals that it contains. So it's still a pleasant smelling product. <laughs> Shea Moisture came along with a product that's a facial wash and scrub in one as well. People with darker skin tones tend to have oilier skin. This is great because when you have oily skin, it tends to be blemish prone. This product speaks to that. And it, again, com combines exfoliation and cleanser in one so you can skip a step. It contains, I'll let some out for you. See, it's a little thicker. In comparison to the Mario Badesco, it has, the crystals are a little rougher so you can feel the product exfoliating more than the other, but it can only be used twice a week at best. It's not meant for daily use. But it does contain shea butter and African black soap, which are hydrating and moisturizing. And it also has a kaolin clay involved in there that detoxifies and removes the impurities from the skin. I love Waso by Shiseido. <laughs> this is like, it's an exfoliator, it's not a cleanser, so it's just an exfoliator by itself. So after you use a cleanser that's specifically designed for your skin, you can use this on top of your damp skin. It is delightful and it's one of my favorites because of the fact that it smells so good. Have you ever been to the spa and it has those wonderful smells that are serene and relaxing and calm? So when I used this, it really made me feel like I was having my own home spa experience. It has cellulose granules in it, which are round and better for the skin. Some exfoliators you have to be careful about. Some of them are kind of, have rough edges and can damage the skin over time. But Shiseido managed to give an exfoliant in their product that has round granules that glide across the skin and remove that dead layer I talked about without causing long-term damage. It's great, it's my home spa experience and I love it. 
So now you're done with your waso and you've had your home spa experience, you're done with your day at the spa, but there's another step. And this step is toning the skin. So a common misconception about toner is that you don't need to tone and you can skip this step and go straight to moisturizer. Uh-uh-uh. Here's the thing. Toner's main purpose is to remove excess makeup and dirt that was left behind after your cleansing process. Oftentimes when I wash my face and I think it's super clean, I reach for my towel to dry, and what do you know, I still see makeup on the towel. So toner, you use a small amount of it and you stroke it across your skin in upward motions, especially around the hairline where some makeup and dirt can be trapped and left behind after you've already cleansed your skin. So my favorite toner is from Neutrogena. It, I love it because it's inexpensive, $8.50 a pop, and you can find it at any drugstore, any, any local drugstore. But what's special about this toner is it serves its purpose, it removes the leftover makeup and dirt left behind, but it smells delightful, it's light, but here's the best part about it. It's a pore refining toner, which is one of the best parts. It gets deep down into the skin to remove excess makeup and dirt, and once that happens, the pores in your skin appear much smaller. And now, after you've done this process, you're ready to moisturize and apply makeup. All skin types can benefit from a good moisturizer. A common misconception is that people with oilier skin don't need moisturizer and so they forego it. But what happens is that the skin will overproduce and overcompensate oil and make your skin actually appear oilier because of the lack of moisture that you've placed on your skin. Bobbi Brown has a great hydrating face cream that can be used from normal to dry skin types. It goes on pretty smooth, it comes in a jar, and it's cream instead of a lotion base. So you, right there you know that you're getting kind of a thicker coverage, and it works well on a darker skin tone because as you can see, it blends right into the skin and gives it like a smooth sheen. It's very soft. Not a fan of the smell, <laughs> but it's, it's fine. It's, you know, it's, it does the job. It kind of has, it's, it doesn't smell bad, but it has a medicinal smell to it. I don't know, I like roses and flowers and stuff like that. But it's good, it feels good on my skin, and it blends right in, which is the most important. So, the real deal is, it's absolutely essential to have a pre-makeup skincare routine. You cleanse, you exfoliate, you tone, and you moisturize. All those steps will put you on your way to a flawless makeup application. What's your skincare routine like? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Did you tone today? <laughs>